Hi everyone, I am back with a tidbit tutorial today. This is just a storage solution that I came up with for the Tim Holtz Mini Distress Ink Pads. I've been collecting these for a little while, the last couple of months, uh, just to get the entire collection because I can't just have certain colors, like I need them all. It's just stupid, but whatever. So I had to get every single one of them, as you can see here. Uh, this is available on rangerink.com and you can print this out. It's just a blank color chart that you can fill in so you can actually take these and you can you can print this on any type of cardstock that you choose. Um, I cut down a piece of Canson uh, watercolor paper to 85 by 11 to fit into my printer and it printed out just fine. I did leave it for you know, a day or so just so the ink would settle inside the paper. I know if I would have went over any of the ink with water, it probably would have smeared, but I just wanted to swatch all the colors in watercolor. So that's what I did, and I was just really careful. As you can see, I didn't go over any of the black lines or anything, and you don't really need to. So I will put a link to this printout in the description. So there's that. That's a look at all of the colors. So these are the containers I got. They're just these little plastic containers. I found them in the jewelry making stuff. I think it was at Walmart. Each one has 32 sections, but I've only used 30 in each because the two center ones in the front are a lot tighter than the other ones because you also have room for this closure here to snap shut. So I've got them all in here and I have them in order as Tim Holtz has them in order. So it was easier to do it that way. Then there is also a label sheet that you can print out that will print out little mini labels. So if you had these out on shelves or whatever, you could actually put the labels on them. So there's that as well. Um, I just printed it out on some sticker paper and I cut it up and then I just put them inside for each color. So when I take several colors out at a time, which you work with, you know, five, six colors sometimes, then I know where it's supposed to go back because I I can't just have it sitting around. It's it and it has to go back in order or it's gonna drive me crazy. So anybody with OCD totally gets it. So that's that. That's my storage. Um I don't know, these containers were maybe like eight dollars or something like that. I'm not really sure. I haven't been back over there to obviously purchase any or even have a reason to look at them. I'm. You may be able to get these at Michael's or Hobby Lobby in their jewelry making. So you can always check. It is a 32 compartment. Even though I'm only using 30, there's 32 compartments in here. So that's what you would want to look for if you want this type of storage for your ink pads. The reason I like it is because I don't have any more shelving space and I've got no more wall space in here like it's packed. So, and this way I can keep them in here, I can tuck them away, and I can also travel with these. These are going to travel really well. So, that's that. And so I will link this printout, I will link the sticker sheet for you guys, and the actual water brushes that I use are, I've got the Tim Holtz one, and this one is, it's got a more detailed brush tip on it, so you can see that one, and then the other one I use the most is made by Pentel, and you can buy this size in a single at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, places like that. This has got a little bit larger of a tip. But it comes in a two pack if you purchase it from Stampin' Up. So you would actually get this one and then you would actually get the larger one, which I've never used. I wasn't really quite sure what it was for, but I have been told since then that you can use this as like water, like water brushing a background. So, you know, it's got such a larger, thicker tip on it. You could just literally watercolor a background for an A2 size card if you want. So that's a great idea. I've not tried it yet. So there's that one. It comes in the two pack like this or you can get it single. Michael's Hobby Lobby, whatever. 
So those are the aqua brushes that I use. And um, yeah, this is the the number one ink, in my opinion, to use for watercoloring. It just is absolutely fantastic and it blends beautifully. So if you have ever been interested in trying the Distress inks for watercoloring, this is what they look like. No kidding. Um, I kind of messed up on that one, but the rest of them you can see they're really pretty. Now after they dry, you can actually go back and add some more water and still blend, which is great. So that's the entire Tim Holtz ink color collection. Um, I do not have Picket Fence. I don't think it comes in a mini and I don't need it anyway because I'm just watercoloring with these. So there you have it. There's your tidbit tutorial for today. Any questions or anything, leave it in the comments below. As always, the links will be in the description and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.